What is up guys? My name is Kridfer or Chris. Welcome back to another video. Today is exactly one year since I have owned my WRX and I just kind of want to go over what I have done in one year of ownership. I'm also going to have all the prices because actually I haven't really been keeping total of what I've spent on it and I'm kind of curious. Uh, <laughs> so anyways, uh, right now as it sits as of recording this. I'm at 19,000 miles on my 2018 WRX Limited. Um, but let's go over what I have done. Um, so first off, uh, I got my nameless muffler delete. I'm did my mu nameless muffler delete a three inch tip uh, was the first mod I had that lying around uh, before I even had the car and I also had some lights because I originally the course I wanted to take was like a, a street style lowered build uh, kind of do the typical kind of I'm gonna lower it on RC yellows nameless exhaust and do like an STI trunk swap and then do like power mods. But anyways, so that's getting out of order. I'm trying to do this in order. So I did my muffler delete like 200 miles in. I really just had to wait for it to be a nice day out. Some tint for my tail lights, for my reverse lights really, and uh, some rock blocks mud flaps. I got them in red. Still didn't really know what direction I wanted to take the build, um, but I got the original length, which is the longer length. And in hindsight, I do wish I would have gone with the uh, Rally Armor mud flaps. They seem to handle uh, abuse much better than the Rock Blocks. I thought the Rock Blocks would hold up a lot better just based on the material, um, but they do start to curl. Mine aren't really curling that much. The camera will not show it. It's, it's a very minimal amount, but you can just barely see it. Um, but all of that was really easy. I don't think I have installs of any of these. I didn't really start doing videos until later. Okay, so I guess the next thing would have been my grill craft grill. Look at that, and we got our tinted fog lights. Those things are sick. I'm just making sure no one's coming. I've never seen anyone else on this road, but damn, dude. She just looks so good. I do have video of this. I think this was the first like install that I really like actually recorded and stuff. Um, and at the same time, I uh, tinted my fog lights. I love Frenched headlights and fog lights and stuff. Did that while my bumper was off. My Grillcraft grill, uh, I absolutely love that mod. Um, and actually, before that, um, I did have the Rally Innovations light plate because uh, it makes it look like a like Mini Coopers. Um, uh, like fog lights when it's up on the grill and I really like that look but I just couldn't it didn't fit with the 2018 grill um, and so even though they said it would fit it didn't fit so I ended up not using that on my car and I've actually used it on like a truck and and some other stuff but my grill craft grill uh, that was really what that was the point because I, I wanted with the light plate, I wanted to be able to put it on and take it off really easily. And so like I could, in the winter or whatever, I could have some fog light, some auxiliary lights and stuff. I, I originally bought uh, Hella 500 amber driving lights and a set of Oxbeam floodlights, LED floodlights. Um, I now use the Hellas on my car um, and I use the Oxbeams actually currently for nothing but I am planning on using those again not on this car though uh, on a different car 
So, uh, but at that point, I wanted to be able to take that off uh, for like the summer and stuff and then just use it in the winter, have it as like a functional thing. Um, and then for like shows and stuff, I could just have like my nice lowered car or whatever and take that off, but be functional at the same time. At that point, the Grillcraft like LED grill came out for uh, the 2018s. It was, I believe, already out for the 2015 to 2017 grills. And then they came out with it for the 2018s. And I was like, oh man, I have to have that. And at that point, I'm like, you know what? Screw the lowered car idea. I'm doing a rally build. I bought a Subaru because of the all wheel drive system. Let's embrace the rally heritage that Subaru has. The next thing I got was the Billet Works uh, shift knob. At this point, like when I did the red mud flaps and then I got the red shift knob, I was like, all right, I'm gonna dip my interior red. I'm gonna kind of do the dark gray metallic theme with red. And I've stuck to that. And now I've kind of decided to add a little gold accents to stuff. Um, Cause the like, in my shift knob, the shift pattern is in gold. So that is a short teardrop style with the Japanese characters. And then it does say STI. I'm not trying to be one of those guys that's like, oh yeah, I got an STI. I'm, I'm happy with my WRX. I, you know, I, if I were to own an STI wing, which at this point I really don't want to because everyone owns one, um, you know, I'd, I'd be taking that STI badge off and putting a WRX badge on it and but the reason that I, I I've gotten a lot of flack in the past for having the STI badge on my shift knob I'm not really sure why because you can get the STI shift knob from Subaru um, as a WRX option <laughs> but um, I got a lot of flack for that and the reason that I did it was Billetworks at the time, I don't know if this has changed, but at the time they had the STI badge and they had the old school slanted WRX badge. And I didn't want that. That was gonna bug me, uh, you know? I Cause they changed the badge to be more of like a modern looking one on the 2015s where it's not that old school slanted kind of WRX one. I'll throw up a photo right here of what I mean. And I, yes, I could have sent them a photo of the new one and whatnot, but out of pure laziness, I decided to just choose the STI one. And, um, cause the slanted WRX thing would have just bugged me. It, it would still bug me to this day. But so I knew I was going to have to take my grill off or my, take my bumper off to put a new light in the grill craft grill. And so when we were going to nameless, I'm like, oh, Perrin is right down the street. And so I'm like, oh, let's stop there. I wasn't planning on getting anything. I just wanted to check them out, check the cars out. And it was really cool. And I'm like, well, I guess I'm gonna have to take my bumper off. So I know I'm gonna eventually get some hella horns cause Subi life. <laughs> and so I bought their, I bought a set of hella horns and, um, and their uh, hella horn bracket. Did my SSD performance light bar this is when i really was like yep i'm making this thing into like a rally car i like light bars like i like led light bars but not on cars i like you know if if you were to give me like a choice between like the kc highlights like jk um like led round light bar versus like a typical like just straight up light bar i'd much rather have the old school style round light. I wanted to do that. I love the look of that. And so that's what I did. So I got the SSD performance, the light bar, and then I put my Hella 500 amber fog lights on them. Um, and I decided to just leave it that way for a while. And I'm like, I'll figure out another set of auxiliary lights, um, that I'll run. And, uh, I, I am going to have a video talking about like why I set my light set up the way that I have it um, because I get a lot of questions like you have the LED headlights, you have LED fog lights, you have the Grillcraft grill, you know, that has LED floodlights in it, at least at this point it did. Um, you know, why, why are you putting a halogen driving light on it? 
it. Like that doesn't make any sense. It actually does make a lot of sense. I'm not gonna touch on it here. I'm gonna have another video for that. So subscribe for that. Um, and then I think I left the car that way for a couple of weeks. And finally, I wanted to get another light, another set of lights. And so I got uh, Hella 500 uh, fog lights, which are halogen as well. And they are brighter than my LED fog lights from Subaru. So <laughs> um, we are going to be doing an LED uh, fog light upgrade. <coughs> Baja designs uh, in the near future. I don't know when I'm gonna do that, but I am planning on doing that. And I just kind of did minor stuff from here on out. Uh, I did the Diodynamics Smart Tap, which this is a like a top mod. If if you guys have a 2015 or up WRX, do this mod. This is sixty dollars shipped to your door. Go and do it. It's so worth it. It adds so much cool stuff to your car. I'm trying to make sure I got everything because I don't have photos of everything. Um, I had, I got Baja Designs Squadron Sports uh, in a clear driving light, driving combo, and I put the amber lens over it. And once I take the bumper off, I'm gonna actually take the lens off and then just have it as the normal driving light and then that way I can just swap out the beam pattern uh, because the way it's set up, I can't actually modify uh, the lens or the pattern at all uh, because I can't get the lens off with the bumper on uh, and that's a flaw on my on myself in, <laughs> in trying to retrofit everything which these fit very, very well. Uh, and then I got the Faction Fab uh, shift stop and I wasn't sure if I wanted the Perrin or the Faction Fab honestly I felt both and at this point I really say they're both the same they both do the same they feel the same uh, whichever one is cheaper I just go with that one I do believe the Faction Fab is cheaper so my sister's boyfriend got me a, a shift boot I wanted a shift boot and I got Stitch Boots's uh, Burberry Cloth Shift Boot. I really wanted that one. I wasn't sure if I wanted that one or the Lumberjack one. I decided on the Burberry one just to spice up the interior a little bit. I mean, it's just black and red and it's like, yeah, I mean, it's cool, but a little extra flair wouldn't hurt. And uh, now I'm waiting on their uh, e-brake boot to uh, be restocked. And then uh, I am going to order that one so everything matches. Um, oh, you know what? I'm a dumbass. I forgot my exhaust. Uh, in December, I got my Greddy GPP RS cat back. I was just kind of done with the nameless muffler delete. It was just, it was too much. I wanted a full cat back at that point. And I really like the single tip look, especially because the R cars aren't a true dual exit. It just kind of bugs me and I'm like, yeah, let's just go with a single exit. It looks cool. Oh my God, it's absolutely insane that it has been one year and my car has just transformed um, it's, and I don't know what the running total is. I obviously have not been actively saying the price of things because I want to add that in editing. So I make sure I get the prices right. And then I'll have a running total of everything I've spent on it. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below for more WRX content. Leave a like. Um, you know, it just, it really motivates me. Uh, but anyways, thanks guys. Peace.